Bye. I'm here in Vienna at the 18th International AIDS Conference and I'm reporting. Okay, this is uh, the wishing tree. The Key Correspondence is a program that's been going on for a few years, which was really about giving a voice to community groups to citizens that are affected by HIV AIDS but don't have a voice that's heard anywhere. So we were really thinking how can we make sure that people who are experiencing the epidemic really in their own bodies, in their own families, in their own communities get a chance to be heard and that's what it's all about. So here I am on the third day of the conference in the Global Village and I'm just going to wander around and see what people's opinions are of the conference so far. Uh, we're here in Vienna and we've got a great team of 22 KCs from all over the world who have come together to report on the International AIDS Conference. And we try to run workshops, uh, training workshops in country where we can. And there's been a number of instances where we've gone along and trained up a group of local writers on how to talk about HIV and how to write their stories for our website. And it's really nice to see over the weeks and months and even years how much they progress, they uh, get more confidence and they write about a broader array of issues. I wrote a story about um, the, harm, the, the harm reduction prevention program in Indonesia and how the program didn't touch the spouses of drug users and uh, no media actually ever covered that story. I think this can affect real change. We're getting community level voices up to the national level where policy makers and decision makers can see what's going on. We're at a time where HIV AIDS is sort of being seen as something that we're sort of getting over, it's being put in the back burner, Mainstream journalism is a bit turning its attention to other more fashionable things. So we really need more than ever mechanisms that allow that voice to come directly from the community. There's very little of that right now and it's crucial for the response to remain honest and to remain accountable to those communities. Today's Thursday, 22nd July. It's the second last day of the conference and I'm looking forward to a different plenary.